Hi, I'm Andreas from Primal Scream and we are here in uh, the Primal Scream bunker in central London and we're going to demonstrate the new Korg MS-20 Mini. I've heard obviously about the MS-20, you know, read about it, bands. Bands I really love like DAF and producers like Connie Plank, that's, that's what they used. And it's great to see that Korg have updated it and made a modern version. It's going to be available and when I saw there was a demo on YouTube from one of the trade fairs earlier this year I got all well, my friends and I, all the synth freaks, got very excited and we were passing the demo around to each other and couldn't wait to get our hands on it. And mo most of it is a replica but they've added USB and mid MIDI so you can control it from your computer or your MIDI controller. Well, I've, I've only had it for maybe two weeks now and I've, I've used it on w already because we're very busy doing promotion just now, but I've, we're starting a new track and I've been right away plugged it in and liked what, what I got. Uh, this is just some drums and some and the MS-20. You know, what I like the most about this is, as a musician, it just worked. I plugged it in and it worked. I didn't need to kick it, I didn't need to shout, swear, it works and I don't know, maybe if you're younger you can, but for me anyway, to just get it out of the box and it's working is, that's 90% of the, pro, the problem's over, and then I'll, hold on, that's just a basic sequence anyway, um, but you can hear the, how, Got that fantastic squelchy old school. And I'd never like that word intuitive, but you just you play a note and then you hit some buttons. And it does and again, the glorious thing about this synthesizer, every button you hit seems to make it better. So, just, so that's, uh, again, that's one oscillator. It's just fantastic range, fantastic sounds. Second, add another oscillator, how do I turn it on? That sounds like the Assault and Precinct 13 soundtrack is... And for a musician like myself, it's great to be able to uh, just, f you can feel the music with it. It's not a preset, it's not something you have to set with a mouse. So you just sit and you go down the track and you just play along and you hit and you just turn knobs and get away. This is just a basic step sequence with on one note, but you can just hear. Right away you're just
I've not even got to plug in the tricky bits in yet. I mean, I'll, I'll use I'll use I'll use presets, but this is so for me. It's just it's easy, and it the sounds as say when you turn the knob, it sounds better. I usually record it live, you know, and I get into it like it was getting carried away there. I just get into it and then. But again, as you get the feel of the instrument, you know how to get get the sounds. So, okay, you might not get it exactly right again, but you know you know what the settings are, you know which buttons do, and that's the great thing. You, within five minutes, you've kind of worked out which button does which, and that's it's great. It's just really musician, well, old school musician friendly, and I know that everyone who's coming in, even the lead singer who's. Uh, has come in, had a shot in it, and sat there getting great noises, and he's gone, oh, this is amazing, I want one. And singers don't normally like having to get their hands dirty. <laughs> don't like being at the cold face. I mean, great thing, and this is what will be really important to me when I get going on it, is you can plug a signal into it, which, all, all, you know, it's what we like about all the best sounds, because you can plug your sing go into the cutoff and resonance and that's great for making strange, you know, making guitars sound strange, making voices sound strange, making drum kits sound strange. Maybe make horn sections not sound like their horn sections, you know, by the use of filtering or by the use, you know, or make folk, you know, you're just always trying to make something a wee bit different than what you've done before and sometimes you write guitars G E minor normal guitar songs and sometimes you go, God, it's got an atmosphere right away and then you might get some drums to that and off you go, you know, it's all, all depends because this is, you know, like, not just big enough, but it's just great as soon as you hit it, it's got some sort of atmosphere to it right away, whether it's happy or sad or threatening. Seems to be very good at threatening sounds. <laughs> or maybe that's just me. Maybe I'm just using it wrong. <laughs> yes, we're playing Glastonbury. I think you might have heard of that. We're doing that in a couple. And we're playing with, a, just before, another band, the Rolling Stones. So I believe that should be a good night. And, yeah, I think we're going to take it on the road because obviously it can do your s screaming leads and... There's a lot of our records we have sort of quite strong synth leads and it's just got a great sound for that and, and hopefully the roadies won't break it. <laughs>